So it seems all Haitians might not be blindly following Kodak Black like some people are led to believe. And, uh, yeah, one actually spoke out, so shout out to that dude. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I ain't so. Yeah. So apparently, there are even some Haitians that don't believe what Kodak Black did was cool. All right, so there's going to be a link in the description. I hope I remember to put that link in the description. There's going to be a link in the description of this video. Oh, oh, man, I hope I remember to put it. Sometimes I forget about stuff like that. Anyway, there should be a link in the video of this description uh, to a video. I believe it's uh, I Smoke Hip Hop TV. Uh, he has, if that's not him, I don't know. I've never seen the channel before. Um, he looks like he makes good content, though. But he's speaking on some real stuff. And he's talking about how Haitians shouldn't be co-signing what Kodak is doing. Now, with that being said... Um, there there's been a consensus basically that people generally think that the zoes is going to have kodak back no matter what kodak does and in this particular video homeboy brings up a lot of good points and one of the main points he bring up and i think one of the things that we once really pay attention to and listen to that's been going on with kodak is kodak has been doing this clown stuff for like two years now yeah for about two years now Kodak has been just, in my opinion, absolutely embarrassing himself in public for about two years now. Remember the video where he had like the snot coming out his, what the hell was that about? What was that about? Why? Why? Remember that video? Okay. So that that's just, I just want to bring up a real quick example of Kodak just doing things that are just embarrassing himself in public for no reason whatsoever. Homeboy brings up another good point. He says, in regards to, if everybody remembers, Kodak Black had the situation that he got in trouble with the law. Oh, wait, he, he got in trouble with the law a whole bunch of times. They have the specific situation where Kodak Black got in trouble with the law because he had guns around his children. If everybody could remember that. And dude brought up a good point. Like, yo, how is people acting like the, the cops is out to get him He's on IG Live with guns around his kids. That's, uh, I, I think about, right, when, when, I, when I hear that and see that and, and know that that actually is a thing that happened, I think about how many, how many couples, how many married couples get in arguments because one of the people want to have a gun in the house hidden from the kids in a safe somewhere where nobody can't get to it but them. And the other one don't, right? And then we have Kodak Black. Not only with the guns in the house, not only with the guns in front of the children in the house, not only that, but also on IG Live video, well, letting it go out over the internet that he's doing this. Now, once again, it's going to come out that uh, Kodak Black wasn't the one necessarily filming or was filming or whatever the case might be. It could have been one of his people. They was live streaming, whatever. Look, man, there's a, there's a point where there got to be some kind of accountability for your actions. Okay? There got to be some kind of accountability. And for, any, and for anybody that thinks, okay, so I got a DM today, right, from an individual that believes that people are saying that Kodak Black needs to apologize to Lauren London and basically, they're like, he's there. He doesn't need to apologize to anybody. He's wrong. And then the only thing that goes through my mind is people aren't asking Kodak Black to apologize to London, um, Lauren London necessarily because she needs an apology. I'm pretty sure whether he apologizes or not, she don't care. Who's this dude? He a clown. How could his apology mean anything to her? People are asking him to apologize 
because he's out here looking crazy. So when I hear people say, yo, why does Kodak Black got to apologize? Why these old heads is talking about Kodak Black got to apologize? They trying to give him game. Don't be out here looking crazy. You're looking crazy right now. Why don't you apologize to that woman and keep it pushing? How did you even say that? I think the, the misconception that people have about apologies, and I've been saying that on this channel for the longest, is you don't always, apology really isn't for the other person. Some people need to be apologized to, yeah, I get it. But apology isn't always for the other person. An apology is for you. You should never apologize for anything that you don't feel sorry about. That's one. Have I apologized to people before for shit that I didn't think I was wrong about? Absolutely. But that's because that particular relationship I might have valued. So you know what? I'm going to swallow my pride. He doesn't have a relationship with Lauren London. So when people are telling him that he needs to apologize to her, it's also, look, man. What are you out here doing? You looking crazy. You need to apologize. Anyway, so the Haitian uh, individual, he goes on, he's speaking in Creole and everything else for anybody that go down to the link that I hope I remember to put in the description. If anybody goes down to the link, uh, they'll see that he's speaking in Creole a good deal of the time. I guess he wants people to know he's Haitian. And for everybody that don't know, um, the, the, the Haitians, they're pretty. He said he wants to be known as a warrior. I believe him. <laughs> I'm just going to say this much. OK, so uh, I, I don't really got much to say in this video. Just if there are even Haitians that's coming out speaking about what Kodak Black said and how he's wrong. Also, uh, the particular individual in the video, he made comments about how Nipsey Hussle has done things, you know, speaking about his community or in his community, whatever the case is, that also makes him feel like, you know, Nipsey Hussle is an honorary Haitian. This dude is, is touching everyone. Heart. He's out there making a difference in the world. Actively. Whether... Whether people knew about what he was doing before now or not, he was out there doing it. So for, for, for Kodak Black to feel like he needed to disrespect this man and his wife and his family in such a manner, the man ain't even buried yet. This is, I, personally, I think that Kodak Black's people need to pull him to the side and say, look, man, we're going to stop clout chasing for a couple months. You know, you've, you swung and miss quite a few times over here. We're gonna uh we're gonna bring in we're gonna bring in somebody else to bat for you for a while. Just you know, sit over there and let people forget about you. You know, that's why people go off of IG. They being so emotional or they're sowing their feelings or they're just doing things over and over and over that's hurting their image. So they, they leave social media for a little while. Kodak Black needs to leave social media for a little while. Only reason why I made this video is because I wanted people to know that keeps showing up in all of the videos talking about how the Zoe's got his back, about how, how, I don't know, I guess there's, there's quite a few people out there, shout out, shout out to Haiti, shout out to the Zoe, shout out to Haitians, no disrespect to them at all, but there are people out there that, that they, in their belief, they think that the, the Zoe's are gonna just have Kodak's back no matter what he does. That might not be the case. That might not be the case. Maybe they, you know, they're, you know, higher ups or whoever have a, have some some sense of morality inside of them. And and their morals probably don't allow for them to to think it's cool for a man to talk about another an, a, somebody that just passed away who was a pillar of his community, who was reaching out to other communities, who was trying to do good in this world. Maybe there's some of them that don't think that that's cool that Kodak Black did what he did. Maybe. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. 
Um, I think to just assume that the Zoes are gonna have Kodak backs, Kodak Black's back, no matter what. I just think that I don't know. Is that is that racist? Is it? I don't know, but that sounds real ignorant. Don't worry, Kodak Black could do whatever he want because they're just gonna have his back no matter what foolish, stupid shit he gets himself involved in. I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's the truth. Maybe that's the way it is. I don't know. But it seems like that might not be the way it is because there's already one speaking out right now. Not uh, There's already a Haitian speaking out right now and there's no telling how many other Haitians feel the same way that he feels. Just point being. Okay? And not for nothing, dude also shouted out Gilly. Because Gilly's thorough. So... I'm just saying, like, we got to understand that just because somebody might be a part of a community, that doesn't mean that that community thinks that everything that that individual does is okay. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang, hashtag Bronx Bombers, let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.